hi everyone. I thought I'd do like a detailed video on um, my Sable Poop Bantams. I have two here. This is Flo and this is Queenie. Flo's got missing feathers on her neck. And I think that's from where the other chicken chickens are pecking her. But I'm not sure because I never see it happening. So I think after this video I'm going to spray some of that blue um, stuff on it but like because it stops it being red chickens are less attracted to it so they don't want to pack it and also if there's any like open bits it will um uh, the antiseptic will help it yeah this is Flo and Queenie I've had them for about three years I'm pretty sure um they're two of my favorites I love how small they are they like they lay like tiny eggs. I don't know if there's any in here, but um, this is obviously isn't their permanent setup. Basically, what happens is it's been really wet and muddy, as you can tell, and um, not all of this enclosure is under a roof. Some of it's under netting, well, most of it's under netting, which means it's so wet. And these guys have feathered feet, and um. So do my peaking bantams, but these guys get huge clumps of mud on their feet when they're in the wet, and um, it makes them really like it's hard for them to walk, and then it means that I have to remove them all the time. So they were getting like that, and I kept having to like take away the mud and then just put them back on the ground, and then the next day I'd be doing it again. So I have this hutch, and it's like it's got two tiers, and um. It's quite big, like, for them, because they're tiny. And, um, they're only going to be in here for, like, a week or whatever until the rain clears up. But, yeah, I washed them all off and, um, put them both in here. They've got their water. And I just put the food on the ground there. I've got all the straw and everything. It's nice and warm for them because they have an enclosed bit up there. This was my old guinea pig hutch. Um, but, yeah, they're getting on now. I think when we got them they were probably one or two because they weren't young um and they were actually in a group with like loads of sable poop bantams all different kinds but these two stuck out to me um flows of porcelain sable poop and i can't remember the name for queenies um type of feathers but i'm pretty sure that's like the most basic one but i think she's really cute um yeah, Flo's a little bit weird. She won't do that, but um, basically ever since I've had her, she's just been a strange chicken. Like, when she flies, she flies in circles. She squawks really loud randomly. Like, she's definitely not the usual type of chicken. She just does strange things. And sometimes when she eats, she, like, hits her head. I don't know if she's a bit, like, um... I don't know, special I guess is the word, um, but she seems fine now, she's not playing up for the camera, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, sometimes she's a little bit, a little bit strange, but I love her for it, so it's fine, um, but yeah, I think they've enjoyed their time in the dry hutch, like, I've left the door open sometimes just to give them the option to come out if they want to, but they don't, and they're normally flying all over the place, that's another thing I love about Sable Poop Bantam, is um they're good flyers so queenie will fly from that ocean to that log over there where i sometimes put the food um and it's really fun to watch and i took the perches out temporarily when we um redid the netting and turned over all the soil in here to try and get rid of some of the wet um but normally there's perches everywhere and she's always on them as well which is nice but yeah I think if you're thinking about getting Sable Poop Bantams, definitely do it. They're so, like, just fun to watch. And, um, the only problem, I guess, is their feathered feet. Because, one, the feather... Oh, she just pecked her foot. Did you see that? One, their feathers can break and they bleed. It's quite normal for them to break, like, just in their daily life, you know? And, um, hi, Flo. I don't know why I've heard this up, but I don't know. Oh, that'd be why. She's 
you see her go to peck them in. And then I'm going to have to put some spray on that or some anti-pecking anti spray. Um, because Queenie's beak's quite sharp. Can't be nice for her. And, um, so yeah, their feathered feet can be a problem. One, in terms of mud. And two, um, the feathers can snap and then bleed. So she's pecking her. Queenie, don't be rude. I'm definitely going to put some spray on her now. That's probably what's been happening. But these two are best friends. That's why they're both in here. Anyway, because whenever I keep one apart from the other, like if they have to be quarantined or whatever, the other just squawks and cries all day. But Queenie seems to do a bit of pecking on her, which isn't very nice at the moment. So I'm going to have to sort that out. You're right. But, um, yeah, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please check out my other ones and like and subscribe. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching my videos. It does mean a lot. So thank you for watching. Bye.